My best trick with that is with drinking over the holidays is first of all you make sure you have your green juice and if you if you've had some green juice in the day still try and have another one a fresh one before you go out um, if you do that you're going to first of all you're gonna have you want to increase your alkaline reserve so you want your bank account of alkalinity to be very high even b b before you put anything acidic into it that's number one and the next day after you've had the alcohol or anything acidic put the alkalinity back in to neutralize the tissue so you're, you're, you know, your, your blood won't be compromised, you know, your, your tissues won't be compromised. So that's one. Um, and then when you get to the event, don't drink right away. So for example, if, it, if the event starts at 6 p.m., you just had your, drink, your green juice, maybe you bring, now if you're like me, you'll take your green juice with you because there's no way I'm skipping that. There's no way, and, and I, you know, get a beautiful jug if you want to or whatever you want to drink it in, but um, don't be embarrassed. It's like, you know, it's, it's seasonal colors, red and green, right? It's no problem. Uh, you put a little holly uh, leaf in there if you want to. But, um, but don't compromise that. So if you want to be really bold and ballsy, you take your juice with you, and you're in good company. Trust me, it's great. It's no problem. Um, make sure you've got a nice glass straw to sip it out of. You don't want to, you know, be guzzling and, you know, have a big green mustache all over your face. Um, but so you can do it elegantly. And if somebody asks, usually what I get approached when I, when I have my green juice at, um, at a cocktail party, like, oh, cool, is there vodka in that? I'm like, no. I mean, it's like, anyway, this is, but, but that's okay. You can, if you, if, if you want to act like you're drinking, be like, yeah, like, there's like, it's like gin and I don't know, whatever, you, some, some sort of, I don't know what you want to say. It's my, it's my green gin tonic. Do whatever you need to do, but have your green juice. It's, don't compromise that. So um, the further you can push the alcohol, out, the better you're going to be, off you're going to be. If you know the party is going to go on to like 10 or 11 at night, you don't want to start drinking before 8 o'clock. And then know exactly what you're going to drink and keep to it. So, for example, I love red wine. I, and I'll, I'll, I'll usually bring my own organic red wine if I'm going to an event or somebody's home um, because I don't want to get stuck with a, a mainstream or cheapo red wine. It's, you know, that's, that's not going to do it for me. Um, and I'll, I'll feel yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of feel a little compromised if I do like a, a really regular, because you just know where if you're going to like some sort of a wedding or something where they're serving it en masse, it's probably not going to be high caliber wine. So you can always bring your own bottle, give it to the bartender, and maybe take two because they may mess up and give you some of yours to somebody else that does happen. But, um, you know, you find a way to get it stashed and it's yours. And, and then be bold, like that, 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 get your own, right? <laughs> Or you can bring a, a case and be generous, whatever you need to do to make sure that you know you have your needs met. Um, and then if you want to take it a step further, add, add ice and you know keep it diluted. If you feel like you're not going to be able to manage, if you feel like you're going to go overboard and drink too much without doing that, then add the ice. If you you know want to make sure that the, in, the integrity of the taste of the wine is great and you know you'll be able to pace yourself, then you don't have to. But um, but that is always helpful. And I find that. I, I, even though I love the taste of white wines and rosés, I don't drink them because I will definitely guzzle them. To me, they taste like fruit juice, and I can sip red wine, but rosé or chardonnay, it's like it just I drink it like it's like you know like apple juice. Yeah. So.